Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have here in front of me some really cute do-it-yourself mini envelopes and you don't need to use a die. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, you could make these do-it-yourself envelopes so just using your scoreboard. Um, I'm also going to show you how to make these without the scoreboard as well. So if you don't have uh, one of those, um, I'll show you how you could um, make these as well. And these are just so cute. And I mean, I love making little tiny projects. So these would also be great to add into your journal pages. Um, you can add some cute little tiny ephemera pieces in here. It's got a nice white opening, so you can add um, a few pieces of items in here. You could um, make a whole stack of these and then uh, tie it up with some nice uh, trim or some string. And you can also gift this in some Happy Mail. So it's really cute. And I made these in two different styles. So there is this one here that you can open up this way. And then there, the other one has it open up like this with these two sides um, that shows the fold. So you can see that they're two different styles. So I'm gonna show the two different ways if, for you to choose which one you like to make. Um, I think these are just really, really adorable. Um, the measurements for the mini envelope measures um, two and a half inches or it is six just under six and a half centimeters by one and three quarter of an inch or it's about four and a half centimeters so it is tiny but still enough to add a few things and um, you can also make these uh, using uh, other than your scrapbook papers you could use um, tea stain paper if you are into doing junk journaling uh, you can use your tea stain papers book pages music sheets uh, your digital prints as well these are my digital prints that i will be releasing hopefully next month and i'm still in the middle of designing my digitals so i'm hoping to be able to launch these and have these in my store for you to instantly download so uh, you can use them in your projects so I'm going to show you um, how to fold them using your book pages as well without your um, scoreboard. But I'll start with uh, making these and showing you the measurements that I had come up with. And all you need are just your uh, papers from your stash. And you want to cut your paper at 3 inches by 4 inches. So I've already grabbed a few of my paper scraps and started cutting them up into 3 by 4 inches. You could also use your... Uh, cutter parts that are in your 12 by 12 paper pads that are like 3 by 4 inches and you can use up all of those cutter parts and make them as well into these little mini envelopes so that's just another a little tip for you if you don't know what to do with your uh, 3 by 4 cutter parts so I'm just going to grab my scoreboards and we're going to go ahead and let's make I'll make this one first in this style and then I'll show you how to make it in this style as well. So for this one, you grab your three by four um, piece of paper. And then we're going to line it on the three inch mark. And we're going to score on both sides at a quarter of an inch. So we're going to go down at a quarter of an inch on one side and then on the other side. But I'll just turn it this way to make it easy. So you've got your score lines there. And now we're going to turn it onto the four inch side. So if you have, a, if your pattern has a directional uh, pattern, just have a look which way it's uh, facing. You want, you want your directional paper uh, pattern to be facing to the left, because this part here will be the closure. So you want to make sure that it's not upside down. So on the four inch side, we are going to score at one and a half inches and three and a quarter of an inch. So there are your score lines. And what we're going to do here, we are going to remove these two pieces. So the shorter part where we did that score line, you wanna remove those two, and we're gonna also remove these two. I'll just turn it around this way so it's easy for me to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this all the way up to that score line cut that out remove that and we'll do the same to the other side and then we we'll remove that as well
and then we'll just angle cut these four corners it just makes it easier for the opening to open with the envelope and um, for the envelope so I'll just turn it this way so that is how your paper should look like once everything is cut and then down here on the wider part you can use your a circle punch to create a thumb notch if you would like to do that so I'll just do a little one there and then these two you can corner around those corners if you wanted to corner around the top because this part here will be the uh, the flap part that is your closure for the envelope and now we're just going to fold these two sides in so we can create the insert part let's fold this up and you can see now it looks like an envelope already so we'll open this up and we'll add some glue to both these side flaps I did make these in a larger size uh, envelope and I'll put that link down below for you if you wanted to make a slightly bigger one I've also made a playlist for you uh, with all of my uh, do-it-yourself pockets and envelopes so you can just go straight there if you want to just make envelopes and pockets and look at my measurements so there is your envelope and then just close this up and that gives you your closure so you can see it looks exactly the same and then once your glue is dried it's ready for you to add all your goodies in there so how easy was that to make this one and now we'll make this one here with uh, the sides so with that one you grab your another piece of your three by four paper so this pattern has a directional pattern so i'm going to use this one just so you could see how to lay your paper down so we'll do the same thing on the three inch side we'll do the same score lines at a quarter of an inch on both sides so now i'm just going to have a look and my paper is facing down so i'm going to have it so that the pattern is facing the left so now i lay it down on the four inch mark and we're going to score it one and a quarter inches and three inches so now you have your score lines all done and in this case what we're going to do we are going to remove all four of these panels so this one this one this one and this one so we'll let's remove all of those first last one if you don't have a corner around a punch you don't have to worry about this part it will still look like an envelope because uh, you can see here I did corner around these corners so if you don't have one it will still work fine so um, what we're going to do here I'm just going to fix it up I'm going to fold these two down so if you don't have a um, corner around a punch just skip this part and then what we're going to do I'm going to corner around these four corners I just find that folding it folding these two um, top and bottom down makes it easy for me to create the corner to add the corner punching so I've done that I'm going to open this back up now and now I'm going to corner around these four corners So all the corners are now rounded off if you haven't got that corner around a punch again you just don't worry don't need to worry about that so I'm going to turn around this way because you want the deeper part this is the shorter part the deeper part at the bottom so you're going to bring these two in and we'll bring that part in and you can see now it looks like an envelope and then that will become your closure I mean you can also have it this way if you wanted to it's up to you which way you would like your uh, closure if you want a, a deeper one with a lower envelope you can do that so again it's up to you and so it will work both ways 
but I'm going to have it this way because I had the pattern facing that way. I'm going to just glue. I'm not going to glue along the uh, side flaps. I'm going to glue along the part that's going to create the envelope. That way I know how far I need the glue to sit. So there is your little mini envelope in two different ways. I didn't tidy that up, but it's all right. So that is how to make this cute little do-it-yourself teeny or tiny envelopes. So if you want to make it using a book page, your tea, state, tea dyed paper or any of your other preferred papers, you just want to make sure your paper has, is a, it's like a rectangle size. I don't know the measurement of this paper. I'm just going to show you how you can make it. So you want to have a rectangle piece so it's a long, slightly longer. And all you're going to do is fold this in. So this won't be quite a small one. Actually, I might make it smaller. I might just tear it. So I want a similar size. So I'm just going to use this as a guide. So I might just cut that. So it's roughly the same size. So I'll do the same. I'm just going to fold it in and do the same to the other side and just sort of roughly guess where I think it's that they're the same. And then I'm going to fold this up and you just want to fold it up about halfway up and that will be the depth of your envelope. And then this part, you fold this over and I like to just leave a little bit, fold it just a bit above the edge of this paper. So just a little bit above, just to give me room to be able to, um, you know, be able to get my hand in there or to get what I need to get out. So that is the paper all folded. I'll open this up. So I'm actually making, you can decide which one you want to make, whether you want to make this one or uh, this one. You just, you just decide where you want to cut your sides. I'm going to make this one. So that means I will take out the four corner panels and I'm not going to use the corner rounder punch for this I'm just going to leave it so you can see that it will still look just as good without it for those that don't have one so there we have that part I'm going to bring these in and then I'm just going to add my glue that up and you can see now there's your pocket already done and there's your closure you can tidy this up and then you can um, decorate it and collage it add some trim and um, there you have yourself a cute little envelope and you can see I didn't corner around the corners and this looks really cute so there is your cute little mini envelope using a book page so just a quick little tutorial for you for making these do-it-yourself envelopes. I hope this was a fun little tutorial for you and you can use all your paper scraps to um, make these and have fun making a bunch of these. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.